Miss Melanie and I'm going to talk to you about cats today because cats are one of my favorite animals and one of the reasons they're my favorite animals is the cat here, the little black and white cat, that's Loki and this is my Susie who's a calico cat. So I'm going to talk to you about cats today. We're going to start off with a few fun facts about cats that comes from this book called Why Do Cats Meow? And in usual fashion, I've lost my place. Okay. Okay. Lions in your living room. How long have people kept cat, kept cat, pet cats? People have kept cats as pets for more than 3,500 years. But they first started living alongside humans over 9,000 years ago. Some scientists think that today there might be one billion domestic cats in the world. That's one cat for every eight people. Cats and their pet humans. Rather than humans choosing to turn cats into tame pets, cats probably domesticated themselves as they spent time around humans and our tasty dinners, because cats are very food motivated. All right. Our book today is I Am a Cat by Galia Bernstein. And the cat in the book is Simon. I am a cat. Hello, my name is Simon. I'm a cat just like you. All the big cats look at him like you can't be a cat. And they laugh at him. Ha ha ha! Hee hee hee! Ho ho ho! A cat, said the lion. Don't be silly, dear boy. You can't be a cat because I'm a cat and you're nothing like me at all. Cats have a mane and a tuft at the end of their tails. When And when they are roar, everybody trembles for they are kings of all beasts. Just playing with me. A cat said cheetah, cheetah, but you are short, but you are so short and chubby. Cats are tall and graceful creatures who run faster than all the animals in the world. You don't look like you can run very fast at all. A cat said puma. That's ridiculous. Cats live in mountains. That's why people call us mountain lions. They leap up far, far, jump high, and act tough. I know fuzzy little rabbits that look tougher than you. A cat? Cats are black, said Panther. They live in jungles and rainforests and sleep in trees. Have you ever seen, have you, have you ever even seen a jungle? They're both playing with a butterfly, though, you can see that. A cat said tiger. That's very funny. You see, cats are very big and very strong and very orange. You are small and gray. You might be some kind of rat, but a cat? I don't think so. Simon was confused. Lion is the only one with a mane, he said. No one else is black like panther or orange like tiger. No one else can jump as high as Puma or can run as fast as Cheetah. So how can you all be cats? Because we have many things in common, said Lion. We all have small, perky ears and flat noses. Long whiskers and long tails. Do you see all their tails? And we have sharp teeth and claws. And big eyes that can see in the dark. So do I, said Simon. I have all these things, only smaller. They all leaned in for a closer look. Ah, said Lion. Oh, said Puma. Um. 
In that case, said Panzer, Er, it's possible that, said Tiger. You're a cat, said Cheetah. So I'm part of the family, said Simon. The big cats looked at one another. Yes, they all said together. And they spent the rest of the day pouncing and prowling and prancing and playing like cats of all sizes do. And then they take a big nap like all cats do. Okay, we have a little, um, we have a couple crafts in here. We aren't gonna make this one today. I'm gonna let you make this one at home. But they'll all be in your packet here for you to use. We're gonna make a toy for a cat. If you don't have a cat, maybe you have a friend that has a cat. Or maybe your dog would like to play with it. We've got a little Easter egg, which will be in your bag. We put our little bell in here. I'm gonna tape mine shut. You don't have to. Or if mom or dad has hot glue, you can hot glue them together. I just wanna be very careful. Because I wanna tape this shut. These stick pretty good though. And you have your little jingle and your cat can follow it around and play with it. We have many books on cats here today. We have the one that I read today, I Am a Cat by Galia Bernstein. We also have, it's not gonna stay, this lovely black and white book about how to be a cat by Nikki McClure. And if you wanna know lots of fun facts about cats, we have Why Do Cats Meow, illustrated by Lily Snowden Fine and written by cat expert, Dr. Nick Crumpton.